China is creating a new stealth strategic bomber. Although not much data and information is available regarding stealth bombers built in China, it is speculated that their shape is comparable to the flying wing Idita. Go Haping, chief of the flight test division of China's state-owned aviation business AVIC, declared at a general meeting last week that a significant aircraft with a decisive strategic and historical significance should complete its maiden flight test shortly. In this context, as reported by China Daily Global News, Hepping requested all staff participating in the testing program to realize the importance of successfully accomplishing this task. It is unclear whose aircraft AVIC was referring to while making the announcement, as the Global Times did not even indicate the kind or form. Speculation immediately went widespread in China that there was actually just one model of defining strategic and historical importance, notably the Shine H-20 stealth bomber, which is still shrouded in secrecy. So yet, nearly no data is known about the Xi'an A-20, save that it is supposed to be a new strategic bomber, whose development was formally announced for the first time in 2016. The Chinese Air Force itself supported the idea in a series of movies in 2018 and 2021 that the A-20 was envisioned as a flying wing, perhaps similar in form and size to the U.S. Northrop B-2 Spirit Bomber. An unidentified aviation specialist from China informed the Global Times that popular speculation that the disclosed aircraft was the H-20 made sense to him. After all, this aircraft would make China the second country in the world to create a ready-to-fly stealth self-bomber. Tom Jones has spent a big amount of his career without being able to tell his family what he does at work. He recalls sitting at the dinner table one night 30-plus years ago, unable to discuss with his spouse that, only hours earlier, he was read into a classified military project. In the years that passed, Jones said, he's become used to not being able to offer details of what he does every day. I've been not able to talk about what I do at work for so long of my career. I suppose I don't really, really think about it that much anymore," he said during an interview last week. Now president of Northrop Grumman Aeronautics System, Jones has managed one of the military's most significant, anticipated, and covered U.S. military projects, the B-21 Raider stealth bomber. On Friday, inside a hangar in the California desert, he and the 8,000 others spread across 40 states who have been covertly creating the Air Force's new stealth bomber will finally get to show their family and friends what they've been working on the past seven years. I believe it's the first perspective of what's going to be a fantastic capacity for our country," Jones said. The B-21 is unusual from other secret military programs in that its existence is widely recognized. Over the years, top U.S. Air Force officials have revealed fragments of information concerning the jet. But aside from some pleasant conceptual pictures, virtually nothing is known about it. And while the first plane will be revealed to the public on Friday, no one should expect many additional specifics. The Air Force has kept most of the endeavor a secret so that China, Russia, and others are not able to imitate the B-21 design or come up with techniques to shoot it down. The plane has been created with a new generation of stealth technologies to elude radar detection. It ultimately will be able to carry nuclear or conventional weapons and fly with or without pilots. But beyond that, it's basically a mystery. Northrop officials claimed the project's secret classification prevented them from characterizing the B-21 production line in Palmdale, California, where the rollout will take place. The plane to be presented on Friday is anticipated to fly for the first time next year, while five additional aircraft are in various stages of building. Air Force chiefs said the service plans to acquire at least 100 of the bombers. The Pentagon's 2023 budget request reveals the Air Force wants to spend $19.1 billion on B-21 aircraft between fiscal 2023 and 2027, but the Air Force did not say how many aircraft that money will buy. Northrop officials have hailed the bomber as the U.S. military's first sixth-generation aircraft, exceeding the technology of its newest combat fighter, the F-35, of which the firm produces the center fuselage. B-21 really sort of pushes it to the next stage when you're dealing with larger aircraft, better signatures, and the tolerances necessary to achieve all that," Jones added. The business has employed digital engineering and modern manufacturing to manufacture the plane, which has allowed it to proceed far quicker than prior military development projects, he added. Digital engineering has allowed Northrop to manufacture the first P-21 as near to production-like as possible, unlike conventional aircraft development efforts. When corporations produced bespoke X-planes that were flight-tested 
and then substantially changed before entering production. By being able to burn down a lot more risk digitally, we're able to take this step, which takes years out of the whole development program and actually brings a lot of risk out, Jones said. Hopefully we can get started and up and running in production much more swiftly and effectively. Jones observed that while he was a young engineer, the seasoned engineers were still using drawing machines to create systems, while their younger peers were utilizing computer-aided design software. Seeing that progress and seeing the advantages that's brought into risk reduction and greater efficiency has really been exciting," he added. As a geek engineer, that evolution and pulling through, if you will, of digital technology is great. The digital technology also allows the Air Force to cooperate throughout the construction of the jet. We're attempting to utilize a B-21 as a model for how we want to go ahead with other programs that are now in the chase phase," Jones added. While he didn't specify any projects by name, the Air Force's next-generation fighter jet, codenamed Next Generation Air Dominance, is one of those programs. I'm hoping as we move forward that future aircraft purchases will rely on a lot more high-fidelity digital models and stress fleshing out to production techniques, because I believe overall, it's probably going to be a better acquisition strategy in the long run," Jones said. Some staff have been working on designing the new bomber for more than a decade. A limited number of Northrop personnel also worked on the B-2, the final stealth bomber designed by the corporation more than three decades ago. And the B-21 production line never shut down during the epidemic. They didn't have the opportunity to work at home, either because of the classification or they were working in a factory. They were coming in every day couldn't tell their families why they were coming in, just they have to go in when a lot of the rest of the world was able to work at home," Jones said, working through all the chaos of it and still successfully putting this airplane together. I'm simply so happy of the job that they've done and the excitement on the production floor and technical rooms is obvious. Like there's a lot of folks that are looking forward to this.